the draw stay effect you can take a shape and you can make the picture repeat itself repeating the pattern over and over and over again in a rectangle shape the hardest part is just installing getting the draw stay plugin like all set up just type in pixel bender into Google, download this guy, into download the 64-bit version. We'll start downloading, double click on it, it opened up this. Get out of that. Pixel Bender is now installed. We need to download the Draw Stay Effect filter. So we're gonna double click this, save file, Draw Stay Effect, Pixel Bender. Get it from here. Right click on the file and click extract all. I'm just gonna unzip the folder, that's all I'm doing. Double click it. This draw stay file right here, the actual code uh, is right there. Place this file in the proper directory, is right here. And then there should be a folder called pixel bender files. Drag and drop this one right into there. So let's open up Photoshop, drag and drop a picture here. Delete the black pixels and make just make it transparent. We're gonna unlock this layer so I'm just going to grab my magic wand tool and I'm going to select this area and then I'm going to push the delete key on my keyboard. I want to create a separate layer underneath the flower layer and fill that with black. And to do that I just pressed control backspace. Let's click on the flower layer just to have that selected. And we're going to go to filter, pixel bender, Pixel Bender Gallery, and we're gonna select Draw Stay just like before, and we can see the edges of the flower, which is really, really, really cool. I'm gonna make the size 4,000 by 4,000 to center shift and readjust the center point. I'm going to recenter the canvas by adjusting the thing that just says center. Ah, looking pretty cool, isn't it? I'm getting excited already. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's the, the basic way how to do it. And then I'm going to click OK, and bam, it's done. Now that is really cool looking. I love that. You can make do it on your eyeball. And here's another one. So what I had to do is make my eyeball actually bigger. And so why don't we try doing that right now? Let's just drag another picture of me in here. Let's go to Filter, Liquify. This filter is going to allow me to make my eyeball bigger. I'm going to grab my forward warp tool. I'm just going to make my brush size right about there. And I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm just going to click and hold, basically, and readjust the size of my, of my eyeball. So just stretch out the eyeball and make it really weird looking. Click OK. Just went in here and I erased my eyeball. And remember, you have to unlock the layer first. So I got it unlocked. Now I'm just gonna go in here with my brush and erase. I'm gonna go to Filter, Pixel Bender, Pixel Bender Gallery, my center shift. Try clicking this transparent outside option and it'll fix itself like that. Psychedelic voodoo eyeball picture here that just keeps on repeating. Click OK and there you go. You can do doorways, windows, um, telephone things and keyboards, cameras, and clocks also work good. Here's some other examples from the ebook and remember you can click on all of these pictures and it will lead back to the original artist. So if I clicked on that picture for example, it would bring it up in Flickr and we could comment on this picture. Um, and that is that, that's how you work with the draw stay effect.